The UK still remains that country with the fastest immigration pathway. I mean, moving to the UK can be very fast. It does not have a long process. The only thing you need to understand is which visa parts am I eligible for? Do I have all the necessary documents that I need to start my visa application? And once all these things are ready, basis before you know it, you will be in the UK. I am a living testimony to this. Dear basis, there are a lot of means to which you can migrate to the United Kingdom. And that is what I find joy doing. Coming up on my channel, to bring opportunities for you that will enable you to move to your dream country in 2023 and beyond. Yes, you are in the right place. If you want to relocate to your dream country, you are at the right place. So sit well, grab your popcorn, familiarize with the Positivity Gang family, smash the subscribe button so that you will be able to know whenever I upload Turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any important updates coming up on this channel. You might also want to hit the subscribe button and be part of my amazing family. The Air Positivity Gang, we rise by lifting others. Don't forget to hit the share button and let others come and be part of this golden opportunity that I am bringing to your doorstep in today's video. For some time now, I started a one-on-one -on -one section where I sit with you guys that book for it and analyze your skills, your preferences, and be able to so far so good from a lot of people I have been opportune to meet one-on-one. -on -one. I noticed that many of you are scared to write IELTS. Should I use the word scared? No, not really, but the cost of this IELTS is alarming now. And you guys know me that I bring to you guys on this channel ways that you can migrate without breaking the bank. Trying to enable you understand that migrating to another country, you don't need an agent. You can do it on your own from the scratch and you will be able to migrate. That is my major aim why I created this channel. And by God's grace, we have been doing it and we have helped a lot of people to migrate in 2023. Dear besties, this opportunity I am bringing to you this day is the opportunity that will not allow you to write IELTS and you will still be able to migrate to the United Kingdom via this route, right? The last time I came to you guys, I told you guys about the religious worker visa, temporary visa in the United Kingdom. Yes, I promise you guys that I am going to bring employers to your doorstep, that I am going to do more research and get you started for those of you interested in that visa. But good news today is that the NHS United Kingdom is now recruiting for this category. So the things we have good news. Very, very sweet good news. Yes, the NHS is recruiting for, United, for the religious worker visa. And we are going to go into this in details. I am going to explain to you how to find this job, how to go about it, how to stand out and get this job. Guys, I am so happy to bring this opportunity to your doorstep. I don't know why I am always filled with joy whenever I see any opportunity that will help you to come into the UK or any country. Trust me, the sky is wide enough. Any bird can fly. You are highly welcome. We need more of you in the UK. Yes, we do. Guys, I have a Facebook page where I bond with my besties. If you want to bond with me better, you can follow me on Facebook. On that page, I share my story in details so that you learn one or two things. And I am always going live there on Facebook to help you with one or two things. Pin the link in the comment section. Hit the link and join me on Facebook. So basically, the NHS have a visa pathway to the UK that they call the chaplains. Who are the chaplains? The chaplains offer spiritual care to the NHS patients, their carers, their family and friends, and then the NHS staff. So in the NHS now, they have the chaplain's duties, all right? So if a patient feels that they need spiritual attention, the chaplains are there. 
they have also introduced it so that there will be services for those that are right there in the world right if you're a roman catholic you are a muslim you are a pentecostal you will be there in the hospital and you will still have the opportunity to worship when it's time for worship this is a great move by the nhs number six we are on my screen right now because i want you all to hear from the horse's mouth right this is the nhs all right and this is work life of a chaplain okay so you are usually working at the hospital in any department as needed as well as an office you will have a chapel or multi-faith room which staff patients and families can visit so anyone can visit you for spiritual guidance right however as a chaplain you will spend a lot of time in wards and other parts of the hospital vis visiting people who are too ill to move from their bed right you will work with patients staff and families with any faith or no faith what characteristics do you need when you are doing your cv a lot of you will now ask me mama to apply how will my cv look like look at the characteristics that you need as a chaplain in the nhs you will need to be willing to work with other faiths and people with no faith so you mustn't expect the people that you are attending to to be of your faith or believe in god is your work to you know help them bring them closer to god so some training and development that you will need chaplains new to the nhs have training which includes an introduction to healthcare chaplaincy so they are going to train you once you are able to get this job spirituality and chaplaincy in a multi-faith contest working in the nhs working with people who are mentally ill so these are the trainings you have to get with the nhs as a chaplain so take note of this that you are going to have you are going to be trained right if you are going into this pay and conditions so guys look at the salary range chaplains working in the nhs are paid on the agenda for change all right so you will typically start on a band five after further training and experience you could apply for a chaplain team leader position at band six or seven so guys there is room for career progression if you are coming to the uk via this route and if you ask me that is sort of amazing all right Look at the job markets and the vacancies. If you are applying for a role either directly in the NHS or an organization that provides NHS service, you'll be asked to show how you think the NHS values might apply in your everyday work. So to find this job, you have to go to the track jobs. That's the NHS jobs. I'm opening it and I will show you what to search for you to see available vacancies in the NHS. At the vacancies I have on my screen, we have Chaplain Docker Star, right? They are paying £28,407 to £34,581 per year, which is a good salary. The contract is permanent. The employer is Docker Star. You can apply on NHS jobs here. So you can click on this link and apply, guys. I'm going to leave these links in the description box. We have the second one, LinkedIn. This is the salary. These ones are paying higher and is permanent. So, guys, it is obvious that different NHS trusts have different salary range for this position. All right. So, just pray that you get a good salary offer from the particular NHS trust you might be applying to. So, if you ask me, this is a great deal that you should try to jump into. I am glad, guys. You can see the smiles on my face. I am glad bringing this to you. If you are still watching me to this moment and you have not hit the subscribe button, please, it's a way of encouraging me to bring more opportunities to you guys. Smash the subscribe button down below and be part of my amazing family and give this video a fat like, right? So let's go on besties. You can see stroke on trend. They still have an opportunity. Spiritual care chaplain at Canterbury. This is an opportunity. Site team lead chaplain at Canterbury. This is an opportunity. Basis, are you jumping on this? Chaplaincy manager, lead chaplaincy. This is an opportunity. Manchester, they are asking us to view more. Oh, she. Oh, she. Hey, guys, I am so happy for anybody genuinely happy for anybody that is going to try this route and they will get it the fact that you don't need IELTS and you are going to bring your family via this route what are you waiting for to jump on this besties because jump on this don't sleep on this one okay so guys coming down you can see chaplain and spiritual care lead right um, assistant chaplain worker another 
opportunity healthcare chaplain responsible for the roman catholic community so this was a specifically for roman catholics besties you don't need to be a priest you don't need to be a priest to apply for these jobs be cono okay jump on this all right as this is the nhs website like right just come here and type chaplain chaplain all right they will say he where don't put anywhere all locations okay so say search reason you don't limit yourself still bringing it out chaplain docasta southern nhs so let's see university hospital of north midlands you can see that spiritual care chaplain this is for pilgrims or spice guys look at a lot of opportunities there right on the this is the nhs website when you are finished you can go to next page okay So guys, they even have volunteer to see chaplaincy volunteer. In case you want to do volunteer work, chaplaincy volunteer. You can as well volunteer and now um, spiritual and pastoral care team. This is, this is it for this visa category. You can see Mama Positivity is so happy. Guys, I'm happy to introduce this to you, my besties. And in order to help you further to get this job, if you are finding it difficult, if you are struggling to write NHS supporting statements and you want to go for this job, chat me up. Let me know you want me to help you to write it. It will come with a fee anyways. I will not write it for free. And I will together write it for you and you will stand out and get this job. So besties, this is the much I can offer to you guys that will be able, that will want me to help you in the application for this job all right so i am here for you guys and i wish you guys the very best of luck if you are joining me for the first time do let me know in the comment section that you are new to the positivity gang and we are going to welcome you specially and old members will take you around and give you your room you are highly welcome to the positivity gang i'm happy to see you guys once again after my flu break Thank you guys for watching to this moment and I will see you guys in my next video. For now, bye besties. Bye.